Adam Lerner, and welcome to another edition of the Friday Flickr Photo Critique. Uh, this week we have a very interesting photo set of um, really intricate landscapes from um, Lee DePro's photography. Uh, Lee is hailing to us from Australia. Hello, good day, mate. Um, and, uh, you know, we got some really interesting stuff going on now. I uh, don't want to be a buzzkill, but man, this elaborate frame, you know, with the black border and the signature and then the white border and then the black border and then the huge, you know, web address and then this final beveled border here. I mean, it is so distracting that um, it takes completely away from the image here because the image is really quite nice. I and mean, we've got a long exposure. We've got... Um, you know, a lot of really incredible detail, you know, these like wispy waterfalls and like the nice smooth water and the rocks over here and the light dancing on the foliage over here. And we've got, you know, uh, the sun kind of pouring into this this area here. It, it's almost surreal. Um, but th I want so badly to lose this frame here because it's just kind of driving me nuts. Um, so that that's my my thing. And let's move on here. This is, this is very nice, um, very nice selective focus, beautiful light. I really think the toning is cool, um, but again, we've got that really huge distracting um, series of borders that I just find to be a little bit much. And, you know, the thing is this, look, if you're really worried about people stealing your images, yeah, sure, I get that, you know, so you know, take the resolution way down, don't post huge images, but putting all this kind of distracting stuff over there, I think really, you know, you lose so much in the image. Um, this one, obviously, we got a lot less in the framing going on. Um, the light is really stunning. You know, we've got star trails, we've got all these gradations of the sunset, we've got this, or I don't even know if it's sunset. I mean, it just could be moonlight. I mean, it's just... It's really quite interesting. I'm guessing this is somewhere in Australia. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just, it's really quite, quite beautiful. Um, this is interesting. Um, we've got two giraffes that are kind of nuzzling their horns that kind of gives almost like a mirror image, this portrait here. Very interesting how um, the background is completely white. I'm only going to guess that uh, Lee was shooting into a kind of diffused cloudy sky to get it as such unless he did another type of manipulation. Um, again, you know, I'm going to have to say that the frame, the frame, the frame, the frame, the frame and all this text and all that kind of stuff, you know, is just really quite distracting. Um, here we have some uh, footprints in the sand um, or in the salt lake. Okay, you know, you got me. Um, I'm not really familiar with all of the uh, topography uh, of where this is from. But, um, you know, this one, I like the idea of it. I just don't think there's a whole lot going on with it. Um, I think it just, there, there needs to be something more, uh, you know, to kind of draw you in. But just as far as landscape and textures and, and color, um, it, it's very nice from that regard. Um this looks to be an HDR and it almost looks cartoonish like it was like a still maybe pulled from a video game. Um, you know, everything is just so, um, so in my opinion, it's just really kind of overdone. You know, it's just kind of soft and it has a really cartoonish look. Now, as far as portraits go, it could be really cool. You know, you got these two police ladies and they're kind of like really interesting cool off-road looking police car um and in a nice sky and all the other stuff going on i would like to see this kind of a little bit um less processed i think this is really really way over processed um for my taste the only other thing too is that you know if i i don't mind that everything is not centered perfectly i just feel like there's just a little bit too much negative space on the left side of the frame and it's a little bit tightly cropped on the right side of the frame um, here we have a panoramic shot and, uh, this is really nice. You know, I, I like that the balloon is silhouetted by the sky. It really stands out. That's a great technique. If you're ever looking to do something like that, if you can isolate, you know, an object against, you know, uh, light or dark, it really does a, a wonderful job of standing out. You've got light trails coming down through the sky. You've got the silhouetted, um, 
uh, mountains or hills, whatever those are. There's still plenty of detail down here in the plains, a little bit of reflective stuff going on, maybe some water. It's very pretty. I would like to see this a lot bigger. And again, I'd like to lose this frame and all this other stuff going on over there. Uh, very nice. Um, we've got a uh, bird of prey with um, what looks to be like a half-eaten fish in its claw. Uh, really sharp. Um, very nice uh, detail. Uh, again, you know, we've got a, a, a darker object on a lighter background, which is cool. This, um, I guess I'm going to, here's my guess. This is going to be the sky. This is probably the sea. And, you know, nice job. I'm also going to guess that this was really severely cropped and there's probably a lot more information there. I think this works and I think it works pretty well. Um, I would also like to maybe see a little bit more of the framing going on over here. Um, you know, nice and pretty, uh, foggy, um, kind of a swampy area with these really kind of craggly trees and the reflection in the water making for a really nice texture. It's a little monochromatic. Uh, maybe there's either some, uh, a lot of warmth that was added to this image or maybe some toning. Um, you know, again, it's like the one in the sand. Like, I think it's, 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 it's cool. Um, it's not blowing my mind or anything like that, but you know, it's, it's well seen and a, a nice landscape. Um, sunset shot, you know, we've got kind of like the droopy sun because I'm guessing the heat, um, causing, you know, the sun to kind of look a little bit distorted in the sand there. Another panoramic. So it was cropped to give that kind of panoramic look. Um, again, I'd like to see this one a little bit larger and also, you know, you know, when you have the law of thirds thing, you know, uh, I don't believe you have to adhere to that. I would have liked to seen a little bit more up top here. I feel like it's a little bit cropped close to the top of the sun. Um, but, uh, you know, overall, um, you know, very pretty shot and uh, shot well and nice landscape. So this was uh, a nice set from um, Lead to Pros Photography, uh, hailing from Australia. An interesting mix of shots. Um, I would say that, you know, this one here, um, which also kind of has that HDR look, although I don't mind it so much, is probably one of my favorites. I would say this is probably my, my most favorite. Um, I just think that the color tones and the detail is just really gorgeous. Um, and, uh, you know, an interesting photo set. So Lee, thanks so much for submitting. Um, and again, you know, look, this is a, a really outstanding set and nothing that I'm saying, you know, if it comes off as being harsh, it's because I'm just, you know, giving my opinion on what I think about this. And, uh, you know, I obviously, you know, by selecting this, um, you know, I, I found that there was a lot of really great things about this photo set as well. So thank you again for submitting. If any of you guys would like to submit your 10 best photos, either create a Flickr photo set or a 500 pix photo set, email them to adamlearnerphoto at gmail.com and we'll see you soon.